good morning everybody how are we doing today hope we are fine and hope we are safe in today's class we want to look at how to design the mickey mouse face the face of mickey mouse okay we are going to do that in today's class so i'm going to take you through the process of designing the mickey mouse face using the microsoft paint program okay we can do this with different other programs but we want to use the paint program i know you can access the paint program in so many windows operating systems so many computers in your houses and all that now if you don't if you don't you, sh you need to look for one so that you should be able to follow the class right okay now i will launch paint and how can i do that i'll just click on my start menu and search for paint p a i n t then this is my paint program and this i looks like so i will click on it so that i can open my paint program now we are going to go through the process of designing it but first i want my drawing canvas to be as wide as my screen so i'm going to widen the drawing canvas because i'll need much space for the design now you're going to make use of two basic tools two basic shapes for this design and the first shape would be the oval shape and the second shape will be the curved shape all right it's going to be very important the oval shape is just to click hold and drag you can make it a perfect circle if you hold down your shift key it is a perfect circle but if you release your shift key you can make an egg or make it an egg shape like this or like this so you all just make sure you click and hold down your mouse and drag to create your shapes however i don't need this now whenever you don't need something or you made a mistake i would prefer you do an undo so undo is like clicking on this button on top on top left of your screen or you hold down the control z key on your keyboard now i'm going to click on that and it goes off so my last action goes off all right now so now i want to show you how to use the curve curve shape before we go to um, before we start our design now the curve shape is like a line shape just like a straight line when you work with so i'm just going to draw a straight line but it's actually a curve all i have to do is to bring this this sign close to where i have it and i can bend it to form a curve that's bend one then i have to create a bend two on the other edge to make more emphasis on the curve all right now what do i mean now you you have to also take note that after doing your curve two it's if by default it's going to lock it up like this all right now i'm going to undo that then i'm going to um, draw another curve shape you can do something like this then come to the edge here and do something like this see You're creating curve with a curve shape so we're going to use these two basic shapes to create our mickey mouse now we want to start now you have this video that this video that i'm creating now for you you can pause it at any time and go back and and check this out and make sure that you create your own mickey mouse at the end of the lesson now i will start the first thing i'm going to take would be my oval shape my oval shape will be used to draw the eyes i'm going to draw the eyes and before i do that i think my line is too thick so I'll undo that all right then um since i actually want to use this line so i'm going to um click on size and pick the 3 px not the 5 px but 3 px so i'm going to select the 3 px then i'm going to draw my curve and the curve is going to look like the mickey mouse eyes all right so um something like this will be fair enough if you can get that good 
now i'm going to take the curve shape i'll be a bit faster remember you can pause the video whenever you like so i'm going to draw a curve shape something a bit slanty as this then what i want to achieve with this is that i want this to be like an edge close to the eyes or there about okay something close to the eyes now sometimes i will have to undo and do it again and that tells you that hey your teacher can make the same mistake so um make sure you can undo undo is a good thing use it very well when you are designing it's not expected that you get everything perfectly all right so i'm going to i like it this way now when i have something like this once it's locked up i can click it and drag it to position now i can click out to deselect that selection now this is the first thing my eye shape of the eye and the curve at the base of the eyes now the next thing i would like to do is be the nose and they want the nose to be able to be round too so i'm going to draw something like this be the nose so we're going to follow the process all right so i'm going to click this and maybe just bring it a bit closer to the eyes something like that it may not be exactly but something something like that you could you could just position it to maybe much more better than i okay now i have this now i'm going to draw another line the curve shape is going to be just right on this so i'm going to like take this curve shape and cut it across sorry i need a curve shape so i'm going to undo that then i'll take a curve shape and i'll draw a line to cut across the nose somehow but remember it's a curve shape so i'm going to click and drag this down like this uh, something like that first pull this will be the second pull from this edge so i'm going to like make this a second pull something like that second pull so try and create this i've just deselected it now after i do that i'm going to create something like the mouth and it's going to happen i'm going to use the curve shape also just click here and drag down just down not too far from um what is supposed to be so something like that now i'm going to click uh on the line and drag it down to open the mouth a bit and come to the edge here i'm going to click and drag something like that something like that yeah i think so yeah something like this like the mouth is open then i can release my click now i'm going to take still use the curve too but this time i want to draw and like something that will place a smile oh my god that was a mistake i'm going to undo that i'm going to click um i'm going to drag now when you get something like this happening to you just ensure that you don't go too far come back there and escape you press escape on your keyboard before you draw your next so when you escape you can draw the next thing so i'm going to like make a curve and what am i doing with this curve i need something to be like a smile to the mickey mouse to the face of the mickey mouse i'm going to just use my keyboard to push that in a bit right that is a bit too much something like that all right now good now take another if you're not sure, all this escape after you're done then click just right on top of where you have that just right on top of it and cut across the eyes and bring it right on top somewhere there but this time i'm going to create a shape like this i'm going to make a curve and i want the curve to go to be round so i'm going to click that one and come here and bring it right up something like this gradually we are getting the shape we want let me think i think something like that something like that mm, something like that i can open it up if i want it to be much more open yeah i can open it if i want it to be much more open but you get that's how you can always do that now i have the eyes i have the arc with a curve shape around the just below the eyes then i have a nose and i have something that's going to be like the mouth the smile around the mouth okay then this is the mouth itself now after doing this i'm going to now take 
another curve from here down to the bottom corner here of the mouth now this curve is going to be like way up there like this because i want it to be a smile so i'm going to bring that and widen the cheeks somehow and widen the cheeks something like that then i'll deselect or escape then i'll click just the edge of that space then then another one just right below that space there and i'm going to open this other one like this then i'll open it this way to have the curve that means this is how the mouth is going to look like now after doing this mouth you have to do something you're going to draw the ears so i'm going to take the oval shape to make a round ear but this time maybe just hold down the shift key then make a round ear like this just like this it could be mickey mouse is always have a big ear so i'll bring it just something close to that space i have there now if i have done that i need to also do something quickly so i'm going to take my curve shape then i'm going to place the outer layer just right to this point here then i'm going to um make it a bit round so it's going to be like this round the one edge then i'm going to come to this other edge then open 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 it that way that way you can cut you can cut in doesn't matter now i could have this and say yeah i'm done this is my work but i want to undo that last action it's just because my mickey mouse is going to have like a big a big head <laughs> okay but yours can be better right so you just get the idea that's the most important thing you get the idea so i'm going to put this here now i'm going to do this here like this big ears big ear big ear big ear big ear something like this okay i'm just going to leave that that way now I would take this select tool, then select half of the entire drawing that I have created. I'm going to measure this half thing with the nose. Whatever happens here, I can always join that myself. Okay, so I'm going to use the nose to measure how half. If am I cutting that out? See. Uh, okay, like this again. I just undo that to repeat this action. then i will copy if you don't select you cannot copy so i'll select then i'll click copy then i'll click paste now i have pasted i'm going to right click on what i have pasted go down to where i have rotate now come down to where i have flip horizontal something like this then i can bring it closer together just to have another edge of this okay look at the nose be careful so you have to get your nose properly before you release your click well something like that then i can join anything i want to join later i click in and click in here to join or if that doesn't go well undo remember to always undo join your lines you can always raise the curve of that lines anytime okay um you can just join your lines you know what to do you know you should know how to join your lines just join it when i do that i can bend it just in like this okay i can um i was supposed to escape after that i didn't escape okay so something like this okay um i'll do it again okay you, your work should be much more better so just when you click you can click again then deselect now if you have something like this all you have to do is to paint take your paint buckets with the black paint and ears is usually black so i'll click on both ears first then i'll click on the edge here um then somehow there's something i need in the mouth so i'm going to take my curve in the eyes then I'll take my curve and draw eye then raise it up like this 
um, sometimes it will give you some issues but you should get the idea now I don't like that eyes so I'm going to like undo and draw the eyes again just from one edge to another edge now raise it above it then here I'll just okay just above it like that just something like that something like that raise it above then open it I can take my paint bucket and paint that boom boom um, the nose boom gradually we are getting there then what else I'm going to there's a space here I need to shade it off so I'm going to take this brush tool and increase the size of my brush to the highest one so that I can easily just shade that part off remember I'm using brush tool here so it's not a paint bucket so I'm going to just cover that space there now I have that the mouth I need something to do something to the mouth so I'll take the curve do a two line the first line will be like this okay I think I missed the touch so I'm going to touch that line the first line will be like this now raise it up yeah something like that I need a tongue that's what I'm trying to do a tongue then I'll do another line to touch the second or the one like that okay so now I have this I can paint that red so I'll click on the red color then take my paint bucket and paint on the thong on the tongue now on the skin I could use any color now I can always come to edit color and choose colors bring down a color choose uh, maybe something close to a brown then maybe I don't know if you see anything there becomes the color you're going to be using all right so anything here so when I click OK now I can click in here and I've painted the Mickey Mouse face all right you can always do so many other things to this but if you can achieve this then it's a good job It's good enough for us I can select the entire work with my select tool drag it to one edge then for those of you that would like to I, I would like to see this work if you can use your phone to to do it good but if you cannot use your phone to achieve it it's still I just need you to do something for me I'd like you to export if you cannot snap with your phone you can export this by clicking file then go to save as then choose the PNG picture or a JPEG picture then give it a name it Mickey all right the Mickey then you can go to your desktop click on your desktop and save it now when you save it will be right in your desktop this is mine now when I open it this is my picture now this picture can be sent to me to Mr. Patrick with Rick devices remember to so send it to that let me see your work I will appreciate you for everything that you have done you've done good job thus far and I know you can do this one too so design your work and I'm going to ask you some quiz questions based on what you've learned in today's class do have a nice day and see you next time